All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So after a lot of speculation, you know, a lot of debate on whether God of War was going to make it this year in 2022 or whether it was going to get delayed till 2023, we finally have the official release date, and it is November 9th. So, which is a Wednesday, by the way, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit because that's an interesting, odd uncommon time a uh, day of the week um to release a game right and there's a few uh reasons that people are putting out there of why they're releasing it on wednesday so um as i said the release date is november 9th uh they released a cg trailer with you know uh kratos and atreus uh fighting a few droggers and also running into fenrir uh, fenrir the the, the uh, wolf um which Clearly, in the case, we're going to see him in the game, possibly be a boss fight or whatever. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, it was a cool little 30 second CG, CG trailer just for uh, just really for the uh, release date announcement. It is funny because I didn't see the, the release date announcement on Twitter. Um, I saw it. I saw it in the in the description of the video because at first I was like, oh, man, yeah, here goes another dumbass CG trailer without a release date, which is just another sign of them telling us like oh it's not delayed and then i was looking at the video and then i looked down and saw a release date and i was like holy shit um so great it's great that we got a release date and um even though a lot of things pointed to the fact that it was going to be released this year and not delayed we still had reasons to doubt I mean, Corey Barlog did confirm it. He said it's not delayed on Twitter. Uh, the Snitch said it's coming out this year. Uh, you know, the the collector's edition of the game was detailed. Um, you know, all the merchandise it was raided in different territories. So all signs pointed to to it being released this year. But still, there was there was still reason to doubt. Um, but great that it's coming out this year. Uh, and, you know, PlayStation has had overall, you know, a good year as far as first party releases. We're going to get to that also. But let's talk about this, this releasing on Wednesday. So now, November 9th is two days before the initial Starfield release date, which is 11-11-22, uh, 20, uh, right? And a lot of people thought because PlayStation is petty. You know, they kind of got the nickname of Petty Station because of some of the things they they do. You know, they, they they fire shots at the competition. They throw jabs at the competition. Sometimes it's subtle. Sometimes it's very direct. PlayStation is is not, you know, foreign and not new to that type of thing. So a lot of people thought they would do that. But it's two days before. Now, some people are saying that, you know, maybe PlayStation decided not to put it on the 11th because they didn't want the bad optics of them kind of being that petty. But I'm like, I've never known PlayStation to lean away from their pettiness. They only lean into it. So I don't really think that's what it is. And even though maybe some might be might have been salty about an 11-11 release date, and we know who some is, uh, some would have been petty about it. But overall, people would have championed it. Right. Because people like that kind of squabbly, petty, you know, combative type of shit. People like that type of stuff. The whole, you know, kicking dirt in the console war. It's entertainment. Whether, you know, like I know some people like to act like they're holier than thou and they above it. Motherfuckers love that shit. It, it, people love it. It gives them something to talk about. It, you know, it, it, it drives reactions. It's loved. Right. So I don't really think that's why they they didn't put it on 11-11. Um, because I only know PlayStation to lean into their pettiness, like I said. So I don't think that's what it is. I don't think they were trying to avoid the Starfield release date um, to be to look like the good guys. Another thing people brought up is so that they can make it and make it uh, before the game of the year cutoff um, date. But the game of the year cutoff date uh, for Jeff Keighley's game of the year is it's November 19th. So, so, so they could have still dropped on November 11th and they still would have made it. Um, by the way, just a side note on that, I think it's my opinion that releasing later in the year, releasing closer to the game of the year cutoff date is only a disadvantage. I don't think it helps you in game of the year, in my opinion. 
I would have to look that up, you know, historically, and we could like look up the previous game of the year winners and see when they dropped. But I don't think releasing close to it does you any favors because I don't think it's enough time for people to really sit with the game and really take the game in and be like wowed and amazed by it. Even if like it's comes out to like a 90 plus Metacritic and everybody says it's amazing. I don't really think it's enough time for people to, to like really sit with it and like really um, just take it in, you know, absorb the game. So just off of that, I'm going to be real with you. I don't think God of War wins game of the year just off of that. Right. Because sometimes there there is recency bias where being the most recent helps you. But I don't think that works with game of the year. I don't, in my opinion, I don't think it works with Game of the Year. That's just, that's just my thought. Um, I would have to go back and look like when all the previous Game of the Years uh, launched, but I would say they launched earlier than the year rather than later in the year. That's that's what I think. Um, but back to uh, the Wednesday release date. Here's something that somebody brought up that I actually might, that I actually think has a lot of credence as to why they decided to drop it on Wednesday. I didn't know this. Somebody said this on Twitter. Wednesday in Norse mythology is considered Odin's day. When you literally Google Odin's day, it, it's Wednesday. And I'm like, that's very on brand, right? And that's something that's uh, very clever um, that I think the likes of Corey, and I know he's not the, you know, the actual director on the game this time, but he's still overseeing it. But that's something that overall, I think Santa Monica as a a studio would think about and they would tap into that you know just being on brand with the game um you know ragnarok and obviously we're gonna you know fight uh thor uh i don't know how much of odin we're necessarily gonna see in see in this game i assume we will will we fight him uh, you know um whatever but it's odin's day um so yeah, that would just be on brand. And I think that that might that might be it. And I wonder if I wonder if trying to launch on a Wednesday, you know, actually caused some issues or, or, or troubles for them in any type of way with like actually getting this release date out. I don't know. It's just speculation. But I think that that reason is um, is somewhat valid. Um, so overall, PlayStation this year. They, it would be first from their first party games. They this year they launched uh, MLB the Show. Uh, it's M it's MLB the Show, Gran Turismo, um, uh, for uh, Horizon, um, Forbidden West, uh, and then got and then we know God of War has a release date. And if you want to count the Last of Us, that's if you want to count the Last of Us uh, remake, then that's five first party games in 2022 which is definitely not ma not bad releasing five in, in in one year even four if you remove uh, the remake that's good that that's a good um set of releases for this year um so yeah glad they got a release date and overall this year you know outside of first party you know there's roller there's roller drone stray uh, Valkyrie, uh, Valkyrie Elysium, Evil West, Mario Rabbit, Spark of Ho Sparks of Hope. We got some Resident Evil DLC, Pokemon, Callisto Protocol. Yeah, there's a bunch of games. There's, a, there's still a bunch of games, you know, um, coming out. I think this year is still really good. I think this year is really good. Um, I know people did run into like this dry spell in the industry overall. Like when I think around when end of April hit, April, May, June. Yeah, July, you know, I, you know, there was the Cuphead DLC. That's still good. There's still been stuff to play. But overall, you know, we did hit a little bit of a of a dry spell in the middle, um, just in general from the industry. Uh, but yeah, let me know what y'all think about why they chose Wednesday, because I find that I find that one um, pretty, in pretty interesting. But I'm glad we got a release date. We know when it's when it's coming. Excited for the game. It's going to be fire. It is going to be lit. Um, and yeah, uh, we going to see because, you know, some people are with God of War Ragnarok. People are kind of worried about like the, the sequelitis, I guess you can call it, where you play 
you play the first God of War, and I'm considering, you know, God of War 2018, the first God of War, you know, from the, uh, you know, from the, from it kind of being rebooted in a way, right? You were so impressed because it was an overhaul, right? And the, this overhaul first rendition was so amazing, but now you've experienced it. So if God of War Ragnarok is, I mean, sequels should be more of the same, right? That's my, I mean, I don't think that should be my theory. I think that should be just common knowledge that that sequels are supposed to be more of the same, but better. But so people don't feel like it's too familiar and they're not like super jaded on it. It got to be the same, but a lot better, right? Because people are not going to be as impressed anymore when if it's just God of War. Uh, 2018, but better. It got to be a lot better, you know. With with year when years go by in the industry, expectations change and all that stuff. So that's that's completely understandable, right? If God of War 2018 isn't gonna be even when even when it comes to games that are like, you know, people call them evergreen or they stand the test of time. I don't, you know, even a few years after an amazing game releases, it's not necessarily going to be that amazing game in 2022 that it was in 2018 you know what i'm saying so god of war you know ragnarok, ragnarok does have a lot to live up to it does it has you know has a lot to live up to uh, you know industry standards change so we gonna see i'm taking some time off during that week um i'll probably take probably take wednesday thursday friday off from work that entire week um even though i work from home but you know, I don't want nobody hitting me up, nobody bothering me, um, cause I just got. I don't take time off from work any other time. My PTO literally be going to vacations when I actually go away and video games. That's all I use my PTO on. So, yeah, let me know what y'all think about this release date and uh, how y'all feeling about this. And uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next video. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.